So, move to the right, move to the right, move to the right. Punching Plateaus! Level 3. I I'm still referring to level numbers, even though there's pretty much no other reference to level numbers in the game. And I, I just like having level numbers. It just, it just makes me happy. Is that so bad? Lums are cool! Keep hitting Bulba Lums! Throw some weight behind your attack. I guess that's with the holding it down, okay. Take time to wind up, okay, I get it, I get it. In the air, aim for the ground, and attack to crush. Ah, I've got like a down attack. Grab all the Lums. Gonna keep uh, seeing what he has to say until he stops talking, and he stops talking. So uh, let's get all those things! Oh god, they're just gonna fly away, what the hell? Get back here. Silly Lums. So level 3, Punching Plateaus, now we have the, well, we have the ability to punch for a while, but I guess this is the first level that's actually got punch in the name. So this is going to require punching, I guess, at some point. Well, I guess it's already requiring punching to get through the level. What is this thing? I don't know. I kind of want to get this skull coin, though. There we go. What are you? Oh, you're a platform. Why are the platforms so friendly in this game? <laughs> That's what I want to know. The platforms in this game are remarkably um, anthropomorphized. I think is the word I'm looking for, actually. <laughs> Not the first. Like, it's, it's pretty much the first word that comes to mind for me. But yeah, anthropomorphized. There's your word for the day. Bye, buddy. See you later. Did he, did he die down there? I need, to, I need to go check this out. Ooh, glad I went and checked on that. <laughs> ah, so, I'm wondering how lenient the... Oh, God. Uh, oh, I thought I was going to crush again. I'm wondering how lenient the uh, Electoons for Lums thing is going to be. Because I don't know how... Uh, well, I've lost that heart, haven't I? Good thing I didn't need it. Because I did not actually uh, get... Yeah, I've I pretty much got the things both times so far, but I'm just kind of hoping that it won't get, you know, too difficult that I won't be able to do it first time every time. That, that's pretty much what I want to do. I, I just want to do it first time every time. I don't want to have to put any effort into playing video games, you know, that's, that's not why I play video games. And I guess we're going through this door, but it's probably going to be... Yes, there is an Electune in here, because you can see the, like, vapor trails. Ah! Uh, <laughs> the hell? The Bubbleizer! <laughs> the hell's that achievement for? I don't know. What is that achievement for? Chain Bubbleized four enemies. Alright, so... Killing them is called Bubbleizing them. <laughs> That's cool. And let's free these lums. We got ten lums. Ten! Ten lums! They're not lums, they're Electunes. Again, I'm going to get horrendously confused with them, because it... In the first game, I always called them Lums, because I'm because uh, I'm dumb. It's a good way to remember it. If you call them Lum, then you're a dumb. Yep. Always coming up with new mnemonics here. Levels in this game seem pretty uh, long in general. I don't know how that's going to relate in terms of episode length or anything, but uh, I guess that's something for future me to figure out, and I've totally lost that. I hope I'll still be able to get all the Electunes first time, because if not, then I'm going to have to replay this level, and that's not going to make me entirely happy. <laughs> who, wants to play re who wants to replay levels in a video game? Certainly not I. Okay. Uh, is there anything above the world or anything? I don't think so. But maybe there is, actually. Just maybe. Nope. Not as far as I can see. Quite a lot of subscreens per level. I don't know how many worlds there are going to be or how many levels there are per world. I think it looked like there were about eight in the first world. So that's, uh, maybe that gives us a little bit of an indication of what's to come, but like I say, we don't really know how many levels there are, how many worlds there are, so I don't know. But here is the next lot of secret electunes. So, what do I want to do here? Gotta kill all the enemies! That was actually ridiculously simple. <laughs> oh, it's like a water coaster. Oh, I want to ride the road, ride the water coaster for a while. Screw you, Lord. Screw you, Electunes. I don't care. I'm riding the water coaster. I'm not even pressing any buttons to do this. This is all automated. <laughs> That's actually amazing. I, how do I get off? How do I get off? How do I stop? How do I stop? Okay, there we go. 
I was having trouble stopping there. Don't know if you could tell. And yay, more electives! It looks so happy. Like that massively cheesy, grinny smile. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty amazingly happy. Oh, the electives! So happy to be free! Okay, so to crouch under things, I just need to run into them. I don't actually need to crouch or anything. That is good to know for future reference. So we're just kind of using these first few levels to just kind of learn all the mechanics of the game. Pretty much as, I guess, the game intends. So how would I break this? Oh, I can punch upwards. I can kick upwards anyway. That's cool. I did not know this. See? That is pretty much just what I'm saying. We're using the first few levels just to get a feel for the mechanics of the game. And we need to go up there and get that skull thingy, because I've already missed one skull thingy. So I think I probably might miss out on some electoons if I miss another skull thingy. So I just gotta be very careful not to Ooh. die. <laughs> I wanna actually collect these. I don't wanna let them fly away. Because yeah, I'm imagining because I've missed quite a lot in this level, considering there's been at least one star coin. Star coin? I'm gonna call them star coins, skull coin! That kind of just escaped me. I'm going to hope that I don't require everything in the level. Well, I know I don't require everything in the level, but like, I, don't, I hope I don't require a lot of things. <laughs> Is pretty much what I'm saying. How would I go about getting that? Uh, this is a very good question. I can't go- can I go on the tree? I don't think so. That'd be weird. No, I can't. I have no idea how to get that skull coin then. Uh, unless... was there an enemy underneath that I could have bubbleized and bounced on or something? I don't know. Okay, there must be some way of getting this, right? There must be some way of getting it. Can I, I can, okay, I, can't, I don't think I can bounce higher on this. Oh, maybe I can, actually. Yes, I can. If you do a ground pound on things, then you bounce higher. See? The game is making us learn mechanics. But it's doing it in a very subtle way, rather than giving us outright tutorials about it. Modern games could learn from this approach, by the way. Modern games. <laughs> Just so you know. And down here we go to open this chest of lungs. It's the last one in the level. Ah, oh, how have we done for Lums? I'm still getting mixed up with between Lums and Electoons. Again, this should not come as a surprise to anybody. And I got two achievements. What did I get? Complete level without taking a hit? Uh, I didn't notice, but okay. Play an unlock character in any map. Okay. <laughs> and I don't think I actually got enough. No, I don't think I got enough. Yeah, I did not get enough. Oh man, I didn't get enough! No! I only got 280! No! <laughs> you crazy game, you crazy! That means I have to replay something. Dang it! <laughs> well, we'll do that later. We will come back to these things at some point in the future. Probably either after this world or something. When we can do it again. When it won't be as... Uh, it won't be as old. It won't be as new, even. It won't be as recent. And oh man, I almost ran off the world before it loaded. I am the, I'm the biggest rebel. Crush attack on both surfaces. Gain enough speed. Duck slide. Uh, okay. I'll probably be fine. <laughs> cool story, bro. So, like we found in the previous level, we can ground pound on thingies to go high. Like that. Isn't that amazing, folks? Isn't that the most amazing thing that you've ever seen in a video game? You can bounce on things to go high. This tip brought to you by Mindez. I know, I'm, I'm taking credit here. Uh... I wasn't sure how I would go about getting that, but okay. <laughs> that is how I decided to go about getting that. <laughs> and it was pretty darn fun. And... Are you going to move any further out the way, platform? Do I want to wait for you to go down or something? No? You're just a really slow-moving platform? Okay. I was wondering. I was wondering if you might go down towards secret area or something, but it does not look like that is the case. 
And I got hit. Oh no. Who saw that coming? Well, me for one, for one person. Uh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? I can go around and get all these. Two for one lums. Special discount. Doesn't really last very long. They're all sleepy until uh, until I kill the king. Then they're all happy and just dancing around. I don't know what that really says about lump society. I feel they don't really like their king that much. So this is a random sequence of rooms. What was the name of this level again? I can't remember. <laughs> I have no idea. Pop, pop, room. What's that achievement for? Pop 50 enemy bubbles. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna keep just keep getting random achievements and not have a clue what how we're unlocking them. That's cool. That's always the best way to get achievements. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm a little bit of an achievement whore. At least I was uh, back when the Xbox came out. I kind of lost my achievement hoary ways. But, uh, yeah. For like the longest time, my, my, my main motivation in games is completion. And so if you, seem, if you give me a list of objectives, like an achievement list, I will go out of my way to do some of those achievements. <laughs> Which, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Pretty much as long as there's something to go for in a video game, then I will go for it. But that is why I find things like uh, speedruns and time trials to be kind of a little bit dull, just because there's not you're not really going for anything, you're just kind of trying to improve on your personal best or trying to beat other people. Like I was never that's my main motivation in gaming. My main motivation is objective lists. I will fully freely admit that. I've never really been one to uh, be that motivated by the idea of beating other people. And that's why like I don't know, I've, I've most modern games slash FPSs are more about that, and that is that is where we kinda disagree. Me and modern gaming. That is where we kind of disagree. I'm, I'm gonna. There was a sign on that, but okay. <laughs> I guess we want to go up there instead. I guess we don't want to go up there because that will just kill us outright. Okay. <laughs> well, that shows us an important thing actually that I was kind of looking out for. Wow, this is this is this is kind of difficult. <laughs> I don't know if I have. A limited number of lives. I know I've mentioned this a few times, uh, but it doesn't look like I do. So I guess we can just keep kind of cheesing areas. When you die, you just kind of return to the start of an area rather than uh, start of the level or anything. So that's cool, I guess. Maybe. Ah, uh, what's down here? I need to. I needed to check. I would not have been happy unless I found out. Fortunately, I found out, and now I am ecstatic. I'm absolutely the happiest I've ever been. Surprising lack of secret doors, considering I'm still th I still think there's like three electrodes at this level, aren't there? So there must be some doors somewhere. There's one over here, actually. Yes! <laughs> Saw the area and was like, huh, that looks suspicious. I might have missed one. I don't really know. It's kind of difficult to tell if you've missed one or not, so... Uh... Okay, well, by difficult to tell, I mean kind of impossible to tell. How do I get up there? Jumping out of geysers is kind of difficult. Ah! He dreaded that one. For some strange reason. And oh man, I rescued Electoons! Yay! Oh man, I have missed a secret door. Damn it! <laughs> Why am I missing things? I'm not allowed to miss things. It's not nice. It's not good. It's not good for the ecosystem. I'm missing things. This is terrible. What's up here? There's a thing up here. It, look, uh, it might be just a... Oh, it's just, it's just like... Oh, it's a big thing! That's actually pretty useful. If I could actually get to it, which I don't think I even can. Oh, come on, it's just blasting me up there. Uh, up! Oh, I've lost it now. It's gone. It's too late. It's too late. Stop dancing. It's gone. It's gone. It's just, we're done. It's, it's over. The dream is dead. There's a thing down there as well that I may want to get. So a lot of the uh, jumping in this game appears to be done uh, kind of semi-automatically in that if you kind of jump off a thing it'll automatically take you over to the platform you're supposed to land on. Which I have no real problem with. Because it means that things are going to work out uh, kind of as the programmer intended a lot more. Oh god, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, 
Everything's moving fast! Stop! Destroy the thing! Okay, stop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got so confused then. <laughs> oh, dear God. I gotta say, this forest is pretty weird. I, I've never been, I've never seen anything like this in a forest before. The whole, like, random spiky platforms and eyes in most of the platforms. Guys with rifles, I guess. Electoons and lums flying around everywhere. No, I've never really seen this before. I don't know if uh, the rainforests are like this, but it's not one that I've ever seen. Please tell me I've got enough. Please tell me. Ah, I got enough! Hells yeah! Only, pretty much only just. Like, I, I was nine lums over. And this pretty much cements my belief that we're probably not going to be getting any gold medals. So there we go. I've missed out the first level, which is probably the easiest, and uh, then I was like, yeah, we're probably not going to get any more after this. Oh well! Uh, back to the Glade of Dreams. Seems like a good idea, Mr. Rayman, sir. You go ahead and do that. But man, we missed a secret thing! And I got a new character in the storing tree. Ah! Hey. Ah! Hey. Ah! 